so we are right now in Adopt Me, and it's time to start recreating my office. And I decided to get a tiny house because I feel like that is the perfect size of my office. Well, you know, almost perfect. We'll know once we start putting everything down. Sana, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you're not used to seeing me like this, but today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm actually going to be doing an office tour, but I'm going to be recreating my office in Adopt Me, and I'm super, super excited. I've actually cleaned my room today, so I'm really excited to show you. So I'm going to be recreating my office in Adopt Me. I'm so excited for you all to see where it is that I work, and yeah, I'm really, really excited. And of course, show you my three little rats as well and where they live right now. Also, this is where I'm living right now when I am with my family in Spain and yeah, I am not always here. I'm only here once a month a year. So yeah, this is where I am once a month a year. <laughs> So this is my door and this is where I walk through to get into my office and as you can tell my office is not the biggest. It is quite small actually, but I really like it because it's quite cozy. Right over here on the right hand side, I have everything that I need for my rats. So I have some plastic houses right here. I used to love getting the wooden houses, but they pee all over the wooden house and it smells really bad. So yeah, here we have some medication and some different rat food that I mixed together. They actually have a UTI right now, so I am treating them for that. So that is what medication's for. I have some eye drops over here for cutie, and of course some treats and some little foraging toys in here. I've got these little Easter eggs that I basically put like little treats in with paper and some other fun things in there. Here I have some of my hammocks over here and some more of these foraging toys where I can hide little treats and stuff and they actually really love them. So yeah, over here I have some more treats and some more natural foods and mixes that I add to their food. And this is just boring stuff and kind of messy. It's a humidifier and a little heating pad right there for the rats when they get sick and their travel carrier yes up here we have a um a wheel that i spin in videos and i'm sure you've seen that <laughs> and some flowers right over there they're fake flowers they're actually pens these ones right here so on the other side we actually have the rat cage and this is the cage that i'm using here in spain in monaco i actually have this but times two and it goes like really high up but there's of course some protection in the middle so they don't fall all the way down of course so I did not clean the cage for this video because I cleaned the cage three days ago and they have already made such a huge mess in here. Also, this is not blood. This is their medication that is like bright red that I keep on spilling whenever I want to give their medication. But yeah, here is their rat cage and it's uh, there's a lot of stuff in there that you cannot see. They've made a mess in just three days. It's, it's crazy what they can do. Over here, right behind the rat cage, I have some of the cleaning products that I use. I have some more houses, some more wooden things in this box right here. I'm actually going to be cleaning the cage today, but I was thinking that I was gonna make it Christmas themed. So that's why I'm not doing it now because I have another idea for another video that I really wanted to do. Here we have another one of these little toys for the rats that they can run inside of and then there's little tunnels and stuff. And here we have my actual office. So I have a microphone, of course. I have mine and Moody's unicorn horns right here. And I have a pink keyboard, pink mouse and a pink bat. And of course my screens. Their screens are actually quite small. Wish I had some bigger ones, but I really like it that they're actually white because it matches. And here I have my camera and my camera stand. I have a little notepad over here and some pens that I use. Me and Moody, we were doing this challenge and I was just using this little notepad to write down the scores. So this is my office actually, and I'm really happy with it. I also have a pink chair, which I'm really happy about. I think it's really, really cute. And yeah, it's perfect for now. Yeah, I really like it. So. 
I guess I'm gonna have to start recreating this in Adopt Me, which is gonna be quite difficult because a lot of the things that I have here, there's definitely not in Adopt Me, so I'm gonna have to try to get creative. So, I guess we'll head to Adopt Me. All right, so we are right now in Adopt Me and it's time to start recreating my office. And I decided to get a tiny house because I feel like that is the perfect size of my office. Well. You know, almost perfect. We'll know once we start putting everything down. But I decided to put some thick barriers all around it. Actually, thick floor plates all around my room to change it to the same color as the actual room. And I put my door right here because I think that's kind of where my door is going. I don't know. Maybe I should move it just a tiny bit more. Maybe like right over there. I think that's kind of where my door is in real life. Now what we need to do is start with everything else. So I want to kind of start with my desk, but I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to find uh, the perfect white desk right here in Adopt Me. I mean, I guess this desk is actually quite accurate to what it is that I have, even though th th this is actually black and uh, I don't know, my office legs are actually kind of grayish, but I think this is actually kind of perfect. Okay, I think they're standing kind of like this. It's kind of here in my room. It's I think it's kind of here because behind it, I have lights. So I need to see if we have some good light boxes. I mean, these are way too big, actually. What about this light stage? Maybe those are a little bit better, even though they might still be a little bit too big. I'm going to put my lights. I have one light right there. Let's delete this one real quick. And I have another light right over here. Oh, come on. Load in. Adopt me. There we go right over here okay this is starting to look pretty good so i think this house in adopt me is a little bit too big for my actual room but we'll make it work i think it's gonna be fine so we do know that i have a pink chair so i am i need to find a chair that is actually pink or one that kind of looks like my chair i mean it's definitely an office chair, but the only office chair that we have here is this one. Can we change the color to it? <gasps> we can actually change the color. So it's actually pink and white, but we're just gonna have to go for this one. You know what? I'm actually really happy with how this is looking so far. So I do have two different computer screens. I don't know if we have like a TV, which could be used instead of as screens i mean these are way too big these screens right here but what if i try to glitch them through a little bit i'm gonna see if i can find anything that is better to use i mean for example this one i think is it's bigger actually okay hmm we're gonna see if we're able to do this let's get a barrier out right now and we need to put the barrier underneath of here oh we need to try to squeeze it down a little bit because we need these screens to be a lot smaller. All right, I think that is quite good. Let's see if we're able to do this. I mean, the lights are a little bit in the way, but I don't think it's the worst idea ever. There we go. We have one screen right over there. And then let's put the other screen over here. Oh. Ooh, okay, this is looking kind of cool. It's looking quite cool, actually. Let's see if we maybe should be able to, like, lift these lights up just a tiny bit so that they... Oh, oh no. I actually need to change the color of it so that I can have it be a little bit above the screens because they are like that in real life and i think this looks quite good i'm pretty happy with this this looks pretty good so they are floating but that's fine i do have a big carpet and it is uh, a soundproofing carpet so it is a actually a gray carpet not my favorite color but I guess we're gonna have to recreate this as best as we can. So I'm gonna put this rug and I'm gonna make it this gray color right here. And let's put a second one because I do have quite a big carpet. So this should work just like this. 
and hmm what else i mean i have some little things on my desk like i have like a mouse pad and stuff like that i guess i could use a um hmm, a chopping board as a uh, a little mouse mat i do have a really big mouse mat though but we have to use what it is that we can use here in adobe they do not have a huge selection of things can i please load this chopping board in oh no please oh no what's happening i have a bad feeling i have a bad feeling about this am i about to get kicked am i about to get kicked i know that adopt me's been having problems today actually roblox has been having problems today with saving things so if i get kicked right now i have to redo everything i don't understand why it's not loading in so nothing is loading in for me right now this is not good all right so um uh this is what saved are you serious right now i'm gonna have to redo everything are you serious adopt me why all right we are back again i think i've done any for everything that i did last time and now i need to get a chopping board out <laughs> please let it load this time or is it the chopping board that makes everything and adopt me have roblox go down I hope not. Okay, let's make it pink. And perfect. I think my desk is pretty much done. I do need a microphone though. So let's get a microphone in. I, I feel like it's kind of risky recording right now. Because I feel like I'm going to be annoyed at myself after for not recording this when the game is not having a bunch of bugs. Okay, yes. <laughs> oh well, let's continue. I want to get a barrier down because I need a background right now. So this is actually quite a big background. I mean, yeah, it's really big, but I don't know what else to do and how else to make another background. So I can definitely tell that this is way bigger in the game than it is in real life, but that's fine. The next thing I need to do is actually make this um, shelf behind me. I need to make a nice white shelf that I have and it has four different compartments. Is this too, is this too far away? I think it's quite good, right? Is it? Hmm. Maybe we should put it a little bit closer to the wall. All right, I'm going to color it white just like this. And I think this is actually quite good. I can't make it any taller because it's not that tall. So I'm just going to continue and finish this shelf off. And then we need to put some things on the shelf, of course. Hopefully. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find things in the game that I'm going to be able to put here. Also, please... Leave a thumbs up on this video because I'm probably going to have to rebuild this many times before this is actually finished. Actually, how many... Oh, it has like four different shelves. <gasps> okay, well, I'm not going to be able to fit that all in here. It's not going to fit. I think I'm just going to be able to do this right here. I'll just put these four right here because otherwise it's not really realistic at all. So the shelves is not perfect, but I think it's good enough. So I do have some of those flowers on top of here. So I th I'm thinking I should put some flowers on here. I'm going to put those flowers right there. And then I have that mystery wheel. So I think what I'm going to do is go into simple shapes and get one of these discs out. I was, I was scared there for a second. I thought that it was... It was getting lost again. Okay, so I, I, I need to cha change the color of it, but I'm guessing I'm just gonna make it pink, because why not? 
Then of course I have a bunch of like rat food and stuff on there. So I don't know what to add. Hmm. What about like a little... I mean, I guess we could put some little food bowls right here. And maybe like a water bowl as well. I mean, why not? That looks quite cute anyways. And you know how much I like unicorns, so I'm thinking, why not just put like a unicorn at the bottom over here? We could put another one at the top right here. That looks quite cute. And let's just put a book at the bottom just to decorate a little bit. It could be a book about rats, why not? There we go, that looks pretty cute. All right, so now for this little area, I just had some storage for the rats. So I think I'm gonna go into the decoration section and get, take this wooden crate maybe. And that's basically gonna be the rat things in here. I'll just put some stuff in here. I'll just add some little small things, even though now it stops. Please, please, please don't kick me out of the game now. Please, 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 please adopt me. Please, that shelf took a long time to make. Please? Okay, well, I think I'm getting kicked. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rejoin the game again and hope for the best. <sighs> All right, uh, we're back. And so is my albino monkey, as happy as ever. <laughs> Let's continue. So at least my office didn't get deleted this time, but let's just redo everything once again. We are done with this part right over here. And now let's go back to that basket, right? Do we want to keep that basket there? I don't know. I mean, I guess let, let's just put it here for now because I don't know what else to do there. Maybe, hopefully, if I'm doing another video like this, I can put something else there. I can actually change it in real life. So I have a reason to change that. But yeah, let's put that there for now. And let's get started with the actual rat cage. Now this one's gonna be very, very difficult and I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to make this cage, but I'm guessing I could make it with this, the wooden fence, I don't know. Is this going to look weird? I mean, it is a little bit tight right here to walk past because my rats have a lot of space, but hmm, I mean, I guess this looks okay. I think this looks good. Let's put a little rug in the middle and then of course, let's add like a little pet bed. I mean, it's definitely not gonna look the same as in real life, unfortunately, but I'm gonna try my best. We of course need to add some food and some water. But yeah, it's definitely gonna be difficult to recreate it exactly because there is nothing that has to do with rats in here. But yeah, I mean, I can get, I can get my rat out. I can put my golden rat over here to go to sleep. I think that looks pretty cute. You know what? I'm actually pretty happy with my office. Like, I think it looks really, really good. <laughs> now, we definitely need... Well, I did have some kind of poster painting picture on the wall. So, let's just get something out that is kind of like pinkish. Or just bigger. I mean, I can just put this one down. It's not the exact same, of course, but I don't know what else to do. Otherwise, why not this one? This one's prettier. <laughs> Just like this. And then, of course, the windows. And for the windows, I have three windows. Kind of just like this. But they are a little bit bigger than the ones right here. So, how are we going to do this? 
I think we're just gonna have to put two windows like this. I actually think this looks pretty good. I mean, it is brown around it, so I don't know if I should like make it brown or so, but I'm actually quite happy with how it's looking right now. Also though, I forgot my computer. It's not very pretty at all though. It's just a black, a black block, kind of. So let's just add a black block right next to my desk. And that's the computer, perfect. Thank you. Should we have like an on button on it? Maybe we should have like an on button on it to make it cooler. You know it's not gonna be saved though because of course there's problems right now with Roblox. But, I mean it's kind of fun while it lasts, right? Let's make it a red button right here. Ooh, I mean, no. Let's get a barrier out. Let's put it right over here. Let's get our little button and put it over here on the computer. All right, you know what? I'm pretty happy with this. I think it looks pretty good. I am really happy with this, actually. I think this looks a lot like my office. Let me know. I mean, the floor is the same. The wall color is the same. I've got the poster there. I've got the rat cage right there. Yeah, you know what? I'm pretty happy with this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below right now. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Really hope you all enjoyed it. And let me know if you want to see some more real life content. And yeah, here's Cutie right over there. Isn't she so adorable? Hi. Cutie. Hi. Say hi. Say hi. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. Really hope you all enjoyed it. I love you all so much, and I'm gonna see you soon with another video. But also, let me know if you enjoyed this video because I was thinking of decorating my office for Christmas. So if so, I could update my office tour with some of the Christmas decorations that I'm adding and make another video like this, but Christmas themed. Let me know in the comment section below. Bye.